you know, I'm so glad to be working on the first day of my new job as a TSA agent. OSHA and the IRS were just too stressful for me. I can't wait to meet tons of new people. Mr. Louie, we have a package directed to you. Oh, thank you. I wonder what it may be. Breaking news. An airport employee sadly lost his life earlier today when an explosive was mailed to him and he opened it, which triggered detonation. This is heavily speculated to be related to the pickup bomber bombings that have had authorities working around the clock to find this madman. Just why is the pickup bomber committing these heinous acts? What is his motivation? And most importantly, who is he? saw in a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. Now this is the life. No more working a dead-end job in an industrial shithole. Just living off the land and being truly free. Well, I'm uh, kind of bored now. I think I'm mailing up or Bob. Do we know what aisle to look for? I don't know. Maybe we should ask an employee for help. Oh hell no. This place hires women now. Huh. A letter and a package. I think I'll read the letter first. Dearest Tony, I am the famous Pick-a-Bomber. If you tell the local news station to air my manifesto, I will stop mailing bombs. P.S. The package is a gift for you. It is a box of candy. I knew you loved candy the minute I saw you. Be sure to open the package right next to your vile organs and enjoy. Oh boy, he knows me so well! This just in. The Pick a Bomber has announced that he will stop his bombings if we air his manifesto on our channel. Though we do not endorse his message, we will air it to stop his evil acts. I am the great Pick a Bomber. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the Hokitation race. They have greatly increased the life expectancy of those of us who- Holy fuck, is that Alamar? Okay, gentlemen, we got an anonymous tip yesterday that the identity of the Peak Bomber is a Hokitation by the name of Olimar, who lives in a shacky built in the Force of Hope. This is now Operation Pursue, Locate, and Prosecute, or PLAP for short. We will approach at 1800 hours and complete the skies to not alert him. Once we have him right where we want him, we will get him dead to rights. Well, okay, but how will we be disguised? Use these. Aw oh, man, I don't want to be a wooly wog. You won't be for long. Since we're glow picking, we only have until sunset to complete our mission. Once nightfall hits, we'll glow right through our disguises and the jig will be up. Alright fellas, let's catch us a terrorist. I love being a fed. Excuse me, sir. We're uh surveyors. And we'd like you to point us on the map where your property line officially ends. Sure thing. Starts right here and goes to... Wait a second. Something seems kind of... Off. I know. I left my bullboard pot roast in the oven. Wait right here. I have plenty to share with all of you. <laughs> I know what you are, fed. Here we go. Bullboard pot roast. Now, you know, this is an old famous family recipe. 
Uh, what do we do? Act natural. Just wait until he stops talking, and then we'll get the jump on him. Oh, while we eat, why don't we discuss why technology is abhorrent and how much I hate the Industrial Revolution. <sighs> Three hours later. And it's said that we live in a free society because we have a certain number of... How much longer? Just rights. a little but while these are longer. Not as important as they seem. You can't talk forever. The degree of personal freedom that exists in a society is determined Wait. more of the economic that? and technological... It's gonna be nighttime soon. Our disguises will fail us. By its laws or its what do we do? What do we do? Well, um... Oh, shit. Glowies? You guys are fucking feds, aren't you? Olimar, you're under arrest on charges of terrorism. I'm gonna take care of you guys the only way I know how. Run! Avenge me! Avenge me too. <laughs> Good God, what is that? I wouldn't get any closer if I were you. You're not getting me, dead or alive. Can I at least ask you one question? Sure, Fed. What do you want to know? If you hate technology so much, why do you own a car? Well, it's the only way to truly kill a glowy. You know that. Well, that's not true. We get eaten, crushed, fall off cliffs, and some other stuff too, I think. So, this was all for nothing? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, god damn it.